Welcome to Macedonia. fellow travel dons welcome back to the adventures of a traveling don and if my voice sounds a little deep right now and a little sexy it's because my allergies here in macedonia have really kicked in hopefully it's not a cold it's just uh allergies because the air quality here has not been good but i will probably try and not speak as much as i usually do however we are here in skopje north macedonia in the republic of northern macedonia and we are going to kind of go around downtown uh sky is here with me but uh she you know she had that long travel day so she's still sleeping she's still resting so i'm getting out and about beforehand she'll meet up with us later on but uh we're starting off in the main central square here in downtown and this is really really kind of cool like the history of macedonia of course goes back millennia but like the republic of of Northern Macedonia started in 1991 uh, during, or during the fall of uh, Yugos uh, Yugoslavia, excuse me, yeah. And it's like this whole central district is just beautiful uh, because you have like, these are all modern style buildings with a little bit of like Baroque, neoclassical. You, of course you have um, this massive statue of Alexander the Great of Macedon and it has depictions of battles all around the ring there. Uh, it's got, you know, uh, phalanx soldiers uh, along the bottom, a couple different lion statues. It's just, it's a really kind of cool center and uh, compared to other places that I've been to so far, architecturally wise, this is absolutely fantastic in the uh, in the in the city center here so but anyway we're gonna start off going north across the river and then we're gonna hit old town and then we'll kind of uh do a bunch of stuff over there and come back uh, to the main central district here So a big part of Skopje, particularly in the central district, is of course the Vardar River that basically cuts the city in half. And while you're in the downtown district, there are four pedestrian bridges that you can cross to get on from either north and south side. Of course, the one way in the back there is called the pedestrian bridge. That's one of the newer ones. This one here is the stone bridge next to us. That one is the oldest of the bridges. That goes back to the time of Mehmed II, the conqueror of the Ottoman Empire. I believe it was actually built on the foundations of a uh, previous Roman stone bridge. So the foundations of this actually go back to Roman times. And then, of course, you have more of the Baroque styles that are the Bridge of Civilizations and the Bridge of uh, Art as well. So we'll kind of go over at least these three, if not the pedestrian bridge as well, just kind of showcase what it's like. Because um, you got to get a lot of good artwork, particularly statues, on those other two. And this one is just a stone marvel of architecture. But yeah, Bardar River. What's really kind of cool about this city is the fact that it's, I call it like a city of statues because there's literally statues every damn place that you go. The bridges are all lined with statues. The central districts are all lined with statues. There's even a statue out in the middle of the river right there with a one lady diving and then two feet that someone has basically drowned over the centuries <laughs> for however long that's been there. Um, but it's kind of cool. Like you just see this beautiful statue artwork everywhere in the city. So if you kind of like those kind of old town style of centers, uh, like European centers where it's all pedestrian walk um, and like the, the, the alleyways get a little bit tighter, you have just like a bunch of shops, restaurants, a lot of artwork, the, the old town on the north side of the Vardar River is really kind of cool. That's what we've been walking through here. I mean, you just look up and they have like, they, art, they artfully put all of these uh, umbrellas across the tops of many of the alleys. There's a lot of artwork on walls throughout the alleyways as well. Um, it does have kind of like a little bit of like a Turkish market style feel. There's actually an old bazaar uh, that still stands here as well. So like a lot of this old town goes back to the Ottoman times, but it's just kind of really cool. Like I like this comparable to like the grandeur of the Macedonia square that we were at earlier on the south side of the river. That's nice. And it's, you know, it's pristine and it's, it's you know, it's very sparkly and really cool. It's a little bit more expensive on that side. 
And when I say expensive, it's Macedonian expensive. Nothing here is really expensive. But over on this side, things you get even cheaper. And it's just, it's much more kind of like, you know, it's got a real feel to it. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, definitely enjoy the old town here in Skopje. Now, obviously, one of the benefits of going into the old town is usually to go into old establishments. And there's one place that's really popular here called Burek. And it is, I think it's like from 1959 it was established. I'm not sure which generation the young man that uh, runs it now is, but when you just see him work, they usually have like one or two options available. And they're all kind of like a pastry. It's a basically a little pastry shop. And you either have one that he just told me it's called Bread with Bread. He didn't, I couldn't pronounce the name properly, but it's basically a bun, hot steamed fresh bun. And then they stuff it with like a phyllo style pastry dough in there um, that it just smells good. Like it's literally bread product with bread product. But damn, that is delicious. And it's like, it's super popular in there. It's very tiny space. So I got a couple of them to go and then just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> in an alley on the street. I love it. So take a big old bite of all this. Oh yeah. I know that it's bread with bread. Like even this dough is bread, but it's so soft. It almost has kind of like a cheese texture to it without being cheese. It's just, oh. If you are a, a carb man like myself, these things are delicious. Just go in there and ask for bread with bread. They, they have usually like one or two other options depending on it. It's like it comes and goes so fast and people come in there consistently. So it's a very hopping place. But yeah, like I said, 1959, one of the older spots in an old downtown. And it's so good. <laughs> Like I said, lots of twists and turns. There's even uh, on the north side, there is a kind of like a modern market right now where you can buy a bunch of like cheap stuff, knockoffs, Pradas, stuff like that, uh, Nikes, which are obviously not real real. So, but anyway, it is a great place for uh, some cheap shopping. All right, so if you're looking for a spot for lunch while you're here in the old town and kind of walking around, there is, there's several of them and they're like little kebab shops. There's one though behind me called Kardak. Music was a little loud in there, so I wasn't able to really film specifically me talking in there, but I can just tell you afterwards right now, that was amazing. The the, the kebabs, the sujuk uh, sausage was fantastic. They had this really good bread that was in there. It just had a plate of rice with the, the meat in there. That was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, if you're ever in this area of Old Town, come up to a place called Kardak. Great, great kebabs. Okay, so we have now come up to what is known as Skopje Fortress, and this is at a hill on the north side of the river, kind of overlooks the Varda River uh, behind me. Generally would have great views of pretty much most of the, uh, the Skopje city and the mountains. Of course, like I said, during winter time, it is rather, the pollution is really bad, like air quality is really bad. So I, I wanna come back to Skopje during the summertime when they have some rain, when you don't have every home burning, you know, wood and coal and whatnot to keep it warm, which I don't blame them, but it's like, my allergies have just been through the roof because of that. But anyway, it is a very, very cool fortress. I think the uh, the foundations of it go back to about the sixth century during the early Byzantine Empire. And I think the fortress that you see now was built upon those foundations in an older fort. And this is about 11th, 12th century fortress. So of course it served many, many masters, including the, uh, the Bulgarian Empire, uh, the Serbian Empire, and of course the Ottoman Empire along with the Byzantines. So. A lot of different soldiers, a lot of different empires have seen their uh, soldiers here at the Skopje Fortress, but 
it is a great place to kind of come up. It's free as far as I'm aware to come in. There was no, no really gate guard or anybody to take tickets. So I think it's just free to come on in and get some good views and just kind of like walk, walk the paths. So anyway, yeah. One thing about Macedonia during the winter time, if it's not like snowing or raining, this air quality is not that good. I mean, you even look out there, it's like you cannot see but much of the outline of the mountain in the back, which is a little sad. Next spot on the list, the National Museum of Archaeology. All right, so that museum was actually pretty cool. And I like the fact that they kept everything in kind of like lower light and then spotlighted all of the objects, uh, made it for filming or <laughs> filming it with my phone a little bit easier. But it, it's a really, really nice, very well put together archeological museum. It's not as scattered um, as some of the ones that I've been to. Like if you saw the Piraeus video and stuff like that, it's much more detailed. You know, there's focus on individual items, not as a, and not as kind of like a bunch. So it is kind of cool, um, very well done. So anyway, we're done with that and all the uh, big history stuff here. Now let's take a walk across these bridges and then we'll go around and take the other one. So this one is the Bridge of Civilization. And this is the Bridge of Art. So these two bridges, the Bridge of Art was built in 2012 and then the Bridge of Civilizations was built in 2013, which means for a long time, the Stone Bridge and then one of the major uh, crossing bridges, particularly for cars, were the only two bridges here on this side in the Central District. So it's kind of interesting that they have added these two relatively new bridges. The one about art, of course, has all these statues of former Macedonian uh, artists, whether it's composers, painters, uh, uh, poetry, all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, as you saw over there on the uh, Bridge of Civilizations, was more of kind of like the history of Macedon and the different civilizations that have come to run this area of Skopje. So it's kind of cool. Great, great design, great works of art. All right, guys, so we're back in the apartment. I'm gonna rest up and then Sky and I will go out in a little bit uh, to go get some dinner. So I'll see you in just a sec. All right, and we're back out and now it's time to go get some dinner. This party is bumping. We'll come back and check it out after dinner. Shaky, shaky. here but the restaurant we're at is a place called Kuka and it's about 10 minute walk from downtown uh, kind of more on the east side and it is just a it's 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 packing in here like it's a small little spot it's a local Macedonian place they're about to uh, start singing so
All right, guys, that was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend if you're ever in Skopje, come to a place called Kuka. It can be a little hard to find, but you can Google Maps it. And it's kind of like down a back alley here on the uh, on the east side, but it is absolutely fantastic they have of course the live music so of course i couldn't really do a food food review while we were in there at the time because it was like they had live music it was just loud it was like raucous it was a great great vibe the food was amazing we got like four different dishes um two that were very similar um the first one was of course greek uh salad and then they had like this potato kind of puree dish that had like leeks in it and there was like some kind of spice to it went very well with bread and then uh we got uh two versions Versions of I think it was called Uvichka, something like that. But it's basically it was uh, I got the pork one, Sky got the chicken one, and it's kind of like a chicken or pork roll where they take the pork and then it's like wrapped around like um, a thing of cheese in the middle, and then that's wrapped with a little bit of uh, bacon uh, baked up with a little bit of cheese. You get a little fries and salad with it. That was amazing, and the vibe was so much fun. That's one of the most uh, fun times I've had in a specific restaurant on this trip because it was just and like they, they were getting us involved as well with singing we didn't know the words of course but it was a great great time yeah definitely check out Kuka when you're here in Skopje <music> that they've got a Christmas kind of market going on in the center square here. And part of that, you know, I'm it's past actual December 25th Christmas when I'm filming this, but in Eastern Orthodox, there's also a secondary uh, Christmas, which happens January, I think like 6th or something like that. So I think that's why this continues on at least through the new year, if not to January 6th. But it is still kind of cool because it's like, they got the sign already up for 2024 and everything. This place is rocking. Of course, you can never leave a uh, festival without cotton candy. It's my favorite. Right, let me try, let me try, let me try. Oh my oh, God. That's sticky. That's sticky. Okay, got a little bit off. Oh, Nothing sweeter than can candy. That's actually really sticky. Mm. That was good though. All right, I am pooped, wiped, tired, and I've got an early morning tomorrow because we are leaving the next video uh, next week. You'll see us on our journey from Skopje to Tirana, Albania. So look forward to that for next week. But for me, it is tomorrow early morning. And uh, yeah, these allergies are still killing me. So <laughs> I gotta take some medication and just pass out so I can get up early enough. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour around Skopje. I actually really, really love the city. I love the food. The people we met has been awesome. It's just during winter time, that air quality is just killing my sinuses and like just drainage all day has been rough. So, but I've seen videos of it, particularly during the summertime, it's a lot more clear. It's not as much of an issue. So I think next time, if I ever come back to Skopje would be definitely during the summertime or like kind of like early fall before it starts to get cold. So. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Of course, if you liked the video, give it a big old thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to help uh, support the travels, I do, of course, have a Patreon page and a Buy Me a Coffee account. Links will be in the description below. So, and I do much, very much appreciate the support. So, but anyway, guys, until we meet again, peace out and have a great night.